Hey, welcome to Bible Lane Elementary. On Sunday, we talked about how we, you and I, when we follow Jesus, we should be known as people that are a little bit different. People that are a little bit off because of our extreme love that we give people the benefit of the doubt, meaning that if we see someone, we assume the best in what they're doing. Like if my friend Ryan is over there talking with some friends, I shouldn't assume, oh man, Ryan's totally making fun of me right now. Look at them, they're all laughing at me. No, I should assume that Ryan is just having a great time over there with his friends. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt and that's one way that I can be loving to someone else. See, we should be known for our love and I really believe that this is the best way to live when we live because we love other people and we are known for loving other people it is the best way to live but I also have to warn you you might not always be liked because of this let's say your friend Ryan is over there and you go over to talk with them and they actually are making fun of other kids like the way that they dress or the things that they do they're making fun of them because of that now you have a choice to make now, a loving choice would be, hey man, I don't think that that's funny at all. We shouldn't be picking on kids because of the way that they look or the things that they do or the way that they act. That's not loving and I don't think our friend, our group of friends should ever be doing that. If you do that, you might get picked on. But it's the right thing to do. Still notice that it's the right thing to do. But there's never going to be a shortage of people who get mad about that because you're calling them out for doing something that they just want to be doing. And so you're probably going to end up being the next one that gets made fun of. Which isn't the right thing to do because you did the right thing. You pointed out that we shouldn't hurt other people. You see, we are going to suffer when we are as loving as we're supposed to be the way that Jesus was loving towards each and every one of us. In fact, in 1 Peter, most of the entire letter is talking to other Christians about how we are going to suffer because we choose to do the right thing, because we choose to do the loving thing first. I mean, even Jesus told all of his disciples, you're going to be known for loving me. But in Mark 13, he also said, there, you are going to suffer because of my name. Jesus guarantees that when we are as loving as we should be, that there will be other people who will make us suffer because of that. And I mean, Jesus believed this so much that he was willing to die for all of us because he loves us that much, because sin separates us from God. And Jesus said, I can't let that happen. I will die for all of the sin. You see, that is an extreme love. And Jesus wants us to know that if we follow him, there's going to be that kind of suffering too. You know, we might not all die for it, but I've known people that have gotten to jail because they wanted to show love to other people. And of course, I've been made fun of because of my belief in God and because I wanted to love other people and because people sometimes don't understand that that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to love other people. Doing this, living a life where you treat your neighbor as yourself, it's the best kind of life. But Jesus says sometimes there's gonna be suffering. So you just have to know that when you follow Jesus, it might there might be suffering, but it's still the best way to live. Hey, thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary. As always, you can click right there to subscribe or you can click right there to find other videos that can help you get a little bit closer to God. I will see you guys later. Ready, one, two, three, four, five.